Hi, my name is Robert Trejo and I am the co-director of Zoo Imagination. Uh, it's a wildlife outreach here in San Antonio. We are a nonprofit organization dedicated to uh, teaching uh, people of all ages about animals, wildlife, uh, and all kinds of fun things that you might encounter in your own backyard. Uh, this beautiful animal that is holding on to me, his name is Yogi, and Yogi is a two-toed sloth. He is eight years old, and he came to us from a rescue in Guiana, South America. When he was a baby, he was in a tree, and they came and cut down acres and acres of the rainforest, and he was one of hundreds of animals that had to be rescued, uh, unfortunately. So, but he was, he was there for a little bit, for a couple years, and then they transported him into the United States where he had to live uh, the rest of his life in a zoo, zoological facility or an outreach program. Um, and so that's why he's here with us. Now, Yogi uh, is an animal that is related to the anteater. That's what they're related to. And there's two types of sloth. There's a two-toed sloth, and a three-toed sloth. Now it's kind of hard to see, but uh, you can see the two claws on my left shoulder there. And on the back, he's got three claws. Now his cousin, the three-toed sloth, is the one that you see in the movie Zootopia. That is a three-toed sloth. Now three-toed sloths are also active during the day. Uh, where Yogi here, the two-toed sloth, are active at night. So they are nocturnal. Now I just woke him up a little while ago and he's okay. He doesn't mind waking up throughout the day, but they spend most of their time uh, looking for food at night. Now they don't see very well. Sloths don't have very good eyesight. They can see maybe 10 feet in front of them. Then it gets a little blurry, but they, they use their nose, just like he's doing right there. They use their nose and their hearing to help find their way. Now sloths are leaf eaters. They're mainly leaf eaters and that's what they that's what they live on in South America, which is also why they are so slow. If we all eat just a bunch of leaves, we would just be as slow as a sloth. But we do provide him with extra nutrients. We give him that fruit and vegetables. He likes walnuts, he likes pistachios, and he also eats avocado as a treat once in a while there. So right now I'm feeding him walnuts, uh, and that's what he's feeding on right now. Now they spend their whole life hanging upside down. They can't walk on the ground. If I put Yogi on the ground, he would just crawl. Now they can crawl from one place to the other. It doesn't hurt them, but it's not very safe for them. They, so they really can't protect themselves against predators when they're on the ground. However, hanging upside down from a tree, they can lunge out at their predator with, with their claws or they can bite. They have very sharp teeth. But most of their defense comes from camouflage. If you look at his hair, it looks a lot like the bark of a tree. But over time, they will turn green. And the reason why is because moss and algae grows on their hair. All that humidity, all that moisture, all that rainfall in the rainforest, it's perfect ingredients for moss and algae to grow just about anywhere in the rainforest, even on their hair. And that protects him from his predators. Now the two biggest predators of the sloth is the jaguar and the harpy eagle. Those are the two biggest predators. So if they can't see him, they can, they, he, he'll be able to protect himself. The other thing about sloths, a lot of people don't know this, but if you were to put your nose right up to a sloth, they don't smell, they don't have an odor. Believe that? They are designed like a sponge. What happens is if they absorb the environment. So for instance, if we were to put Yogi in a pine tree, he would then begin to smell like a pine tree. So when you stick him in the jungle, they absorb the jungle smell. So they smell like a tree, they smell like moss, they smell like algae, and that also provides that needed protection from their predators. Now sloths can live anywhere from 25 to 30 years. Now in the natural environment, they may not live very long, maybe 20 years, just because of deforestation, predators, or anything else. But under our care, there's a good chance that yoga is gonna live a while longer. Now you can see how he's kind of hanging upside down there. They're always looking upside down. That's just how they do it. Now a lot of people don't know this. <laughs> a lot of people don't know this, but sloths are good swimmers. They can float easily. And they do like a little doggy paddle. And that's how they get from one place to the other. But if you want to learn more about sloths, you're welcome to visit our website 
at www.zoomagination.com. We do online classroom programs. We also do small group parties. We do birthday parties. So if you're interested in having us come out, please feel free to contact uh, us at zoomagination.com with any other questions you might have.